All right, brothers and sisters. So hopefully I'm going to make this video short. Um, but I just had something on my mind all day that I just discovered last night. And so um, last night I was looking at YouTube and um, I was looking at the news and I found out that there was a tragedy at a concert at a, um, a Travis Scott concert. Now, of course, um, I don't know Travis Scott too well. He's a hip hop artist. And I know a lot of people are probably going to click off this video since I said hip hop artist, but don't click off this video just yet. Listen, um, when I found out about that news, like I wondered, I said, I looked at the numbers, like they told me the numbers on the news report. They said that eight people passed away, 300 people got injured. And I wondered about that. I was like, why is it that so many people passed away? Why is it that so many people got injured? And so what I did was I did a search on YouTube and I got eyewitness accounts. I got uh, videos of just people getting stampede. I got people of just people just getting CPR performed on them. And usually when people get CPR performed on them, that means they don't have a heartbeat or they're not breathing. Okay. So, um, and what had happened was at this concert was that uh, Scott Travis was on a platform. You know, he was on a tower and then on this tower was a platform. So he had a clear view of the audience. And in the front, in the front where the stage was, people were getting crushed. Everyone was just pushing forward, pushing forward. And so people were getting crushed, people were getting mushed. And the security that was at the gate right there in the front, at the front stage, people, I mean, uh, the security guards were trying to pull him out. Were trying to pull him out. And I know Scott, uh, Travis Scott saw all that. There was also an ambulance in the crowd. The ambulance was trying to get to people in the crowd because someone called the ambulance. If there's an ambulance in the middle of the crowd at your concert, that would be very noticeable. That would, that would mean there's an emergency happening. There's something going on. Travis Scott even said during the concert, he said, hey, listen, this woman right here, can someone help this woman? This woman's blacking out. He said that one time, he stopped the concert one time for like a, a minute or something like that. He knew what was going on, but he continued on with the concert. And most likely that got more people hurt, that got more people killed. This actually proves how self-centered that hip-hop music is. It's all about self. There were eyewitness accounts that people were trying to get to the back. It was too chaotic in the crowd. And some people were trying to move to the back. But they couldn't move to the back because there were other people who just did not care at that concert that were trying to just, mm -mm -mm, just, put them, just push them in. And they didn't care. And this is what hip-hop music does. I'm telling you, listen. I'm not putting hip-hop music down. It's putting itself down. I'm not criticizing hip-hop music. It's criticizing itself. Whenever someone hip listen to hip-hop music, because I've been listening, I was listening to it for 20 years. Whenever someone listens to hip-hop music, they get in the mood of whatever that song is. Whether it be pushing bricks or sexing some lady or whatever. That's what hip hop music does, and that's why I believe that's why it was so tragic at that concert. And also, Javik Scott also he basically didn't care. He had a, a sky view of the crowd, of his own fans. And he also the thing is, is that funny thing is that he made a video afterwards saying, "Oh man, I'm sorry, I apologize, and I I, I love my fans and stuff like that." Saying, "No, you don't love your fans." He didn't love the fans. Because if he loved the fans, he would have saw the ambulance. I'm pretty sure he did. He would have saw the ambulance trying to get into the crowd. That's an emergency right there. He would have saw people trying to, trying, getting pulled out. Saw people getting pulled out right there in front of him. All kinds of people just getting pulled out. He would have saw that and said, okay, there's something going on over there. There's people blacking out over here. There's people losing consciousness over here too. I need to stop the concert, but he didn't stop the concert because he's self-centered because that's what the hip-hop music does to people. It self-centers them. It's just like it's just like it's all about me. And the thing is that Drake was there too. The artist Drake 
was there. He was like a special guest or something like that. He performed like one song or two songs, but he didn't even stop the concert. He knew what was going on. He saw what was going on, but he didn't stop the concert. There was some footage that I seen of um, sheriffs and police officers and security officers performing, CP performing CPR on people. I saw two people side by side, like, and they were getting CPR performed on them while the music was still going on. That's just, that's just, that's just absolutely out of, out of my, out of, just out of, out of my mind. Just like beyond like what? You're saying that the last thing that, like all this is going on, these people are losing their lives. These people are holding on by, by a thread, by their life, but people are still jumping and the concert's still going on. These people are dying while these people over here are still jumping and hopping and still having fun. What kind of society are we in? The last days. That's what we're in. Where no one cares. Where everyone is into this dynamic music where it's all about self. It's all about you. It's all about your attitude. It's all about your you just being immortal. Because that's what hip hop music does. It tries to make you feel immortal. Like, don't mess with me. Don't play with me. Nah, where my money? Nah, girl, you ain't gonna leave me. Nah, girl, I'm gonna have you right here, right now. That's what hip-hop music's all about. I would know. I was a DJ for 20 years, so. But my condolences to the victims of, of that tragedy. Again, 300 victims. 300, 300 people got injured, um, eight people lost their lives, and the ages of those eight people were from 14 to 27. That's what they said on the news reports, 14 to 27. They, they didn't even, some people just barely made it into high school. Some people just graduated college. Some people are still in college. And now they're gone. Eight people did not walk out of that concert. So, but my condolences to, to the families, because that should, that should never happen. They went there to have fun. They went there to have a good time. And many came out injured and some didn't come out at all. So, but that's all I got to say, guys. I just want to say I love you guys. And, um, and, um, oh, by the way, uh, scriptural. Uh, Jesus Christ says that you ought to love your neighbor as you love yourself. Travis Scott did not love his neighbor as he loved himself. He just loved himself. That's a one-way one path. A one-way path to hell. But that's, that's, a, that's basically a golden rule that anyone should practice. Even the atheists practice that. But Travis Scott, he ain't do it. He only worried about himself. He only worried about his fame. That's why he was topping on the stage, doing whatever. And he didn't care about anybody out there. By the way, did you know that he actually planned that whole concert? He did. He wasn't just some artist that just came up on stage and said, yeah, I'm going to do this. No, nah, he planned the whole event. Look it up. You'll see it for yourself. What kind of man is this? But... Again, my condolences to those that were victimized by this tragedy, right? But uh, just want to say I love you guys. Jesus first, God first, and may the kingdom always come first. Stay blessed in the Holy Spirit. Amen.